Yes, AI has been around for many years. Obviously, those of us that have、uh, taken on Hollywood movies, such as、um, 2001: Space Odyssey, or even more recently,、uh, The Matrix, we've seen AI as as something that has been a backbone. But I think the main differentiator at this point in time has been、um, the ability for superior processing power and hyperscaling. This has allowed the proliferation of this technology.、Uh, real game changer has been、uh, the release of OpenAI's ChatGPT in November of 2022. This has brought、uh, many other competitive technologies that have been in the background for a period of time to the forefront, and importantly, has been a consumer element to the to the product. Which has been a real accelerator to the technology in our view. Predictive AI, which forecasts future outcomes based on historical data, has been used for decades. New, however, is the development of a revolutionary class of AI applications called generative AI. Gen AI, as it has been nicknamed, can create new and original content, including conversational text, graphics, and even audio. Gen AI has burst into the public consciousness as a result of the meteoric rise of the Chat GPT application, which reached 100 million users in a groundbreaking two months. This has opened the minds of consumers as well as businesses to imagine previously unthinkable possibilities. As these new Gen AI applications drive immediate productivity and revenue benefits, the interest has escalated. More quickly than with other technology disruptions. For example, in the current challenged macroeconomic environment, with demand slowing, but labor in short supply and increasingly expensive, businesses are quite eager to trial productivity-enhancing technologies such as Gen AI. Yes, we believe that it could possibly be as transformative, if not even more so. We think it could really turbocharge innovation, which、uh, is really important, and、uh, lead to some real breakthroughs in technology.、Uh, could en- enhance certainly productivity. Importantly, used alongside of a human, so for example, co-pilot or co-mates, as some may call it.、Uh, we believe this is something that really could. Enhance productivity extremely. Importantly, we need to be cognizant of、uh, intellectual property. We need to be aware of the accuracy of the product, which is why it's more likely to be used in co-pilot fashion. And we need to be cognizant of the harm that is potentially out there for things like companies' brands and again their intellectual property. Gen AI has the potential to be a technology that dramatically impacts society and business in myriad ways, both positive and negative. Just as the industrial revolution, the PC, the internet, and the smartphone have all done so before. Of course, it is impossible today to know with precise certainty, but Gen AI might be transformational across many industries, from retail and e-commerce to education, to the creative arts and media, and even healthcare delivery. As well as across business functions, especially software development and customer service. For example, Gen AI's conversational capabilities could be leveraged to automate customer service interactions, and then subsequently summarize those interactions for management review and evaluation. Yes, absolutely. It's been a theme here at Black Creek Investments for a significant period of time.、Uh, probably most uh, uh, relevant example would be Baidu.、Uh, Baidu has been utilizing AI for the last twenty years in terms of technology,、uh, and they are a leader in in the space.、Uh, they they have a product called CoMate, which is、uh, really in, enhanced coding productivity. Another example would be Weir Group. Weir has a product called、uh, a software called、uh, Motion Metrics, which is utilized in mines around the world、uh, to help increase productivity, incre- improve safety of, of the miners, and maybe lastly,、uh, a, a leader、uh, in Japan called Mirada, 
is a company that is very involved in picks and shovels, electronic capacitors, uh, ceramic capacitors utilized in many smart devices that will be very important for those of us that use AI in our lives. As long-term investors, the analytical discipline we employ is to identify those companies that can benefit sustainably over the next decade. With that lens in mind, a number of the portfolio holdings seem very well positioned in the Gen AI era, including Microsoft, Amazon, Google, Workday, and Intuit. As Gen AI software models must be trained often and require a high level of accelerated computing power, the leading cloud computing infrastructure providers, Microsoft, Google, and Amazon are poised to benefit. Moreover, the source of competitive differentiation for many companies will be rooted in the scale and quality of data required to effectively train the AI software models. Thus, unlike in many prior technological revolutions where the disruptors benefited, the incumbents may be best positioned to succeed. So we also see potential beneficiaries in leading software as a service companies, such as Intuit and Workday, that provide best-in-class business productivity software, and by virtue of their market leadership, also have the largest troves of business data aggregated across millions of users and customers. Yes, we actually believe we may already be in that environment currently. We've seen an extreme narrowing of the market of companies that are perceived winners in, in AI. And there are actually very limited commercial examples and commercial opportunities at this point in time. Uh, so companies that have viable productivity and viable uh, revenues and earnings from this. So we are seeing uh, some concerning uh, multiples being paid for companies that we believe don't necessarily exhibit leadership. Uh, we prefer to own companies that are much more favorably valued in supplying picks and shovels uh, to, to many of these leaders and actually will demonstrate productivity and, and uh, winning business characteristics. With a technology that represents a transformational shift that could be as profound and as profitable as the industrial revolution, the internet and the smartphone, companies and investors are racing to stake out early ground and prime positioning. This dynamic will require investors with proven skill in business selectivity, valuation discipline, and a team-based approach to mitigate behavioral finance risks such as greed and fear. As investors, rather than speculators, we will maintain our focus on companies that have sustainable competitive advantages, such as data scale, actual demonstrated customer adoption, and profitable business models. This discipline allowed us to successfully invest in the past in the internet, mobile computing, and cloud computing, while also avoiding fads, such as cryptocurrency speculation. <music>